is an OSI case. The total tasks right now that we got the refugees like 18 survivors. 10 of them are children and other 8 are adult survivors. So children are in another uh, government uh, set home and then we are currently taking care of the other 8 survivors. We are able to provide this set home for them. Accommodations, 3 times per day meal closings we have one social worker and then one counselor there that we send and stand by there with them for the whole three months of this like emergency uh period if they don't really have any of that from our support they will just like either base go into the community waiting for the court proceeding or just stay at the police stations and our social worker has been providing a lot of case management support so working directly with them on talking about like what's happening to them in the past and you know, like prior to the incidents that happened, the sex trafficking incidents happened. And also we've been taking them to this medical medical checkup. Like we do like regular counseling, obviously it's for recoveries of their trauma, what they experience because like they all start doing this sexual uh, since they was 14, 15. So they're exposed to a lot of things. At the same time doing the family and community assessment um, to just make sure it's like they will be safe after this three months when they go back home. We would like to identify any other gaps, any other things that we can do to support all these survivors when they go back to their community.